Hi, it's Barton here from Lung and Sleep. This is a case of a 54 year old man who had a cavity in his lung. Now, this man was HIV positive and he had been started on his antiretroviral treatment about three months earlier. He was a smoker and he was known to have emphysema. However, he had not had chest infections in the past. He got a little bit shorter breath on exertion but maintained good exercise tolerance. He now presented with a bit of a cough and being a little bit more short of breath than usual. So a chest x-ray was performed, which showed an abnormality. So let's have a look at the chest x-ray. The chest x-ray shows that there's an opacity in the right upper zone. Here it is. It may even be forming a cavity and it measures about 18 millimeters. To further characterize this, a CT scan was performed. The first thing you can see immediately on the CT scan is that there's emphysema in the lung fields, demonstrated by small little black pockets of air throughout the lung with no border on them, which is consistent with emphysema. If they had a border, that would be more consistent with a cyst or cavity. As we scroll down, we get to the abnormality here in the lung, which in fact is a cavity, and it's pointed out here by the radiologist. The cavity measures about 18 millimetres. It has some concerning features with some speculation around the outside and there's no air fluid level. It's a relatively thick walled cavity considering the small size of it, but towards the apex of it there may be some consolidation and nodular change. If we go through the rest of the lung fields, apart from significant emphysema, the rest of the lungs are clear. There's a small bit of atelectasis down at the lung bases. Now the differential diagnosis for this cavity includes a lung cancer, especially in a person who has been a smoker with emphysema, and also HIV infection itself increases the risk of lung cancer. It also increases the risk of infection, and people with emphysema can certainly get infection, so this could be infection as well. And although there's been no history or contact with tuberculosis in the past, tuberculosis is always on the differential list for a cavity in the lung. To sample this, I think this is a good case for radiolebus, because if we look carefully, below this cavity is a little airway coming off the apical segment of the right upper lobe. Here's the airway just in there, going along with its accompanying blood vessel. And we can follow that back to this airway there, and if we follow it, it's joining another little airway here, and it comes into the apical segment of the right upper lobe bronchus. So I think bronchoscopy is the correct investigation to do here. And here's the bronchoscopic radial e bus image demonstrating that the radial probe was able to locate that cavity, and you can see that there's a solid area around the radial e bus probe demonstrating that we are within the wall of that cavity, making it very safe and easy to biopsy. And this is a good way to biopsy this lesion, especially in the setting of significant emphysema, where the risk of pneumothorax would be very high with a percutaneous or CT-guided biopsy. So the transbronchial biopsies showed granulomatous inflammation. There was no sign of necrosis and no sign of malignancy. The cultures returned uh, positive for acid fast bacillus. And this was later identified to be an atypical mycobacterium or mycobacterium avium complex, confirming that this was not tuberculosis. The feeling was that this may in fact represent immune reconstitution or it may true, be a true infection with MAC. And for the time being, the treatment decision was to observe with follow up imaging especially given that the patient was clinically well. If there was any sign of clinical deterioration or progression of the lesion, then MAC treatment or treatment for mycobacterium avium complex would be initiated. So there you go, another really interesting case um, of an unusual presentation and a fantastic way to biopsy a peripheral lung lesion with radiolebus. I hope you learned some, something from that. 
and please subscribe to my channel, like the video and, and leave comments and I'll, or questions and I'll answer them for you. All right, hope to see you later.